Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to look at how to calculate a basic and classic integral. The integral of sine squared x. Let's do the maths. To evaluate this integral, we'll start with the fundamental equation of trigonometry. Sine squared x plus cos squared x equals 1. Now we'll write down the cosine formula for a double angle. Cos 2x equals cos squared x minus sine squared x. Notice that if we add these two equations, the sine squared x cancels out, but we want to calculate the integral of sine squared x. So the thing to do is to change the sign of the equation for cos 2x. In other words, change the sign of all the terms in it. Now when we add the two equations, the cosine squareds cancel out and we're left with 2 sine squared x equals 1 minus cos 2x. So sine squared x equals 1 minus cos 2x divided by 2, which is a half minus cos 2x over 2. Now we'll substitute this expression in the integral of sine squared x. The integral of a subtraction is the subtraction of the integrals. So we have the integral of a half minus the second integral from which we can take out the half that leaves us with the integral of cos 2x and since the derivative of 2x is 2 we need this 2 in the integral and to compensate we multiply by a half so we have a half x minus a quarter times our integral which evaluates to sine 2x plus c where c is in r there are several other ways of evaluating this integral. For example, you can write the integral as the integral of sine x times sine x dx, and then apply integration by parts, putting u equal to sine x and dv equal to sine x dx. You might want to try this out uh, for yourself. Another option when we have the integral of a function that's even in sine and cosine is to make the change of variable t equals tan x. And if you make this change of variable, you'll get a rational integral in which the denominator will have multiple complex roots. It's a good exercise to try it this way, although obviously it comes out longer than the previous methods we've described. I hope you found this little video helpful and interesting. Uh, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you again very soon to discover more maths.